This is the fourth video in our Textbook Hero series. In the first, we spoke to students about how they are impacted by the high cost of commercial educational resources. The next two videos highlighted stories of how educators at UTA have reduced financial barriers to student success through the adoption of open educational resources. The cost savings realized through these efforts can have a profound impact on students. But what I find even more exciting is how rethinking our approach to course resources can also help us consider opportunities for making our classrooms more active, more engaging, and more collaborative. This video demonstrates how copyrighted content made freely available to the university community does just that. My name is Bonnie Boardman. I'm a faculty member in the Industrial Manufacturing and Systems Engineering Department. I'm also the undergraduate advisor. So I'm very interested in how we can design our curriculum to work the best for our students. For one of my classes, I teach an intro introduction to industrial engineering class. It was costing the students between 90 and $100 um, for the text, and that was, again, a, a customized one it was not even bound. It was, you know, it had holes punched in it so that they could put it in a notebook. They couldn't get anything back from it and nobody else could buy a used copy. And I just thought that's too much. I spent this summer um, looking at lynda.com, which is now the UTA offers to faculty and staff and students. And I have flipped that programming class using lynda.com videos. Lynda offers thousands of high quality video tutorials for a range of expertise levels, covering subjects from designing in AutoCAD and using software for 3D painting to soft skills like giving and receiving feedback and working effectively in teams. Students watch videos. I do a discussion board on Blackboard so that they can ask questions about what they've watched. And then in class, we, I don't lecture at all. Um, we just work together um, on programming and that's completely free for the students. These are really professionally made videos that come with practice files and all kinds of things and they can work on those outside of class. It's made my classes much more interactive. I always tried to have active classes anyway in the past, but this has given me a way to interact more. Programming problems that I used to give as homework, I don't give as homework anymore. Now those are done in class where we're there to help them. So I think it's kind of relieved some of the frustration so we can be productively interactive with each other, um, which I think has helped everybody a lot. Are you a textbook hero? Or do you know someone who has adopted open or affordable resources? Share your story for a chance to be featured in our series.